This is One Sentence News, a daily podcast featuring three news stories with a sentence-long summary and one sentence of context apiece. I'm Colin Wright. It's Thursday, December 16th, 2021. Let's talk about the news. From BBC News, Parker Solar Probe makes historic pass through sun's atmosphere. For the first time, a human-made spacecraft has traveled through the outer atmosphere of the sun. The Parker Solar Probe briefly dipped into what's called the corona of the sun in April. Folks at NASA analyzing the data have only just been able to confirm that this dip did in fact occur. And by 2025, the probe will have ventured deeper into the corona to explore some currently unexplained phenomena that take place thereabouts. At that point, getting within 4 million miles, which is about 7 million kilometers, of the photosphere, which is the visible surface of the sun. From the Wall Street Journal, Fed officials project three interest rate rises in 2022 and accelerate stimulus wind down. At yesterday's Federal Reserve meeting, Fed officials said they would taper government stimulus based support for the economy sooner than originally planned and would probably raise a key interest rate three times in 2022. Much of what was announced was already signaled by the Fed leading up to this meeting, but more concrete information about their plans and clear indications that they would be taking fairly significant and rapid action to rein in inflation that has gotten further out of hand than they anticipated seems to have set traders at ease, raising stock prices after several days of steady decline. And from Reuters, German police foil anti-vaxxer murder plot against state premier. German police have disrupted a plot by a group of anti-vaccination activists to murder the premier of the eastern German state of Saxony. Police have said six people were involved in the plot and that weapons, including crossbows, were recovered. Saxony has the lowest COVID vaccination rate in Germany, and the targeted state premier has been a vocal supporter of a hard pandemic lockdown to help break a fourth wave, which is currently causing north of 50,000 new COVID cases a day. The Saxony state government has since announced additional staff will be mobilized to help deal with this type of violent radicalism. If you're finding some value in One Sentence News, consider leaving a quick review wherever you get your podcasts and or sharing the show with a friend. You can find out more about this show or subscribe to the email version at onesentencenews.com. And you can support this and other related projects like the Let's Know Things and Brain Lenses podcasts at understandery.com.